so Dwight McNeil is a name being thrown around. <laughs> but how this name reached not the, not, not, not the mix. So we all know that Dwight McNeil has Jamaican background, which means uh, he's eligible. <laughs> he's eligible to play for the Reggae Boys. Now, in a recent post, um, Reggae Boy Central made a post under the under Dwight McNeil thing with typing the Jamaica flag, just flashing the Jamaica flag, and Demari Gray pops up out of nowhere, rushing, rushing to the comment and saying, I approve. What does that mean? Anyways, big up on yourself, people. Smash like button, hit the subscribe button. If you're here for the first time, we'd thoroughly appreciate it if you do so. So the left forward, 24 years old, actually. It's quite young. Um, very, very young. The left forward for Everton, as we all know, has Jamaican heritage. He can represent the, the, the national team. But the question, will he, does he want to? So those are the questions. That is it. But that in, is in the middle of the, the, the great era. Those are the questions that's in the great era. But things can happen because we have the big bad scout, Demarai Gray. Now, <laughs> we all know Demarai Gray is a former Everton player um, and also played for Leicester. But his time at Everton, he would have must not been a, a little bit associated with um, Dwight McNeil. So maybe can put a word in there too. So we'd have to, for this one, we definitely will have to bank um, on bank on Demar Gray to Demar Gray to get get the job done. We're scouting his concern. We'd have to bank on him for that. But one thing for sure, I find it very very interesting that these players in the diaspora. I'm not, I'm, that speak, that these, the, these players in diaspora seems I uh, look at the Jamaica project as such an interesting one. Not only that, I find it also very interesting with the, the reggae boys who are playing outside of Jamaica, who are playing in England and all these places, are still inviting other players, are, are should I say, encouraging other players to come and play for the national team. Now, remember, you know, people, as the fans, we all know that from, from our side, we know how the issues that the JFF have. But what is it exactly that's pulling these players to say, you know what, despite all the issues that they are having, um, that the national team is having, like the federation and management and the professionalism and all these things, despite all of that, you have... Demar Gray and these players, um, Ethan Pinnock and all these players, encouraging other players to still come and play. It's very, very intriguing. And I would really, really want to, to get an insight, like to, to understand why these players believe that you should also invite other players to come and face the same pressure that you're facing. Or despite the pressure, that you're facing playing for the Jamaica national team, it's still an honor to wear the colors. So it's it's it's, it's very it's, it's it's an intriguing one for me, and I would love to get or hear what one of these reggae boys has to say about the situation, because I know that they love the fact that they represented the country, and I understand what that does for them as well, where football is concerned. But despite the issues, I would really want to know. Why are you convincing? It's like, <laughs> it's like, so, so for example, me have a bridge in their prison. And every day in terms say, yo, do something for come out of prison. You know, you know, like, you have, you have, you have, there's, there's this ulterior motive. Just, 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 just tell us, so why am I telling me for come out of prison? Why go on in a prison? Or, me know, one good, good business that is very much, is flourishing. I may invite me to join the business. Not the, not the loop <laughs> or loom or whatever you call it. You know? I may invite my friends to come and join the business because it's, it's, it's about to go bang. And as we touch on that small topic about it's about to go bang, is there something happening within the organization, within football, within the realm of football? that we as fans, pundits, analysts, are not really seen surrounding the Reggae Boys team. Now, remember recently, Leon Billy came out and do an interview speaking about all the issues and such and such. And I strongly believe that that interview, because it went global, 
it went really, really global. I thought that that interview would have deter many of these players outside or players in the diaspora to say, you know what? I don't want none of that. But yet still, the players playing in the championship, the Premier League, right across Europe, are inviting dual nationals to say, you know what? You can play. Come. So if it's so bad based off what Leon Bailey is saying, why are other players encouraging these players to come and join? That's a, it, it, it's mind-blowing. For me, personally, I would love to see Dwight McNeil in my team because he's a quality player. He's a quality player. Um, very, very good ball handler. Really good at dribbling. Um, technically gifted. Um, thinking kind of two-footed in some sense. Goal scorer as well. So I, I would definitely um, take him. <laughs> come in, high squad. Come in. Come play some ball. But as you know, um, Demar Gray himself said that a lot of players are interested in playing for the team. And if you listen to some of the previous players who were playing in the national team, who were playing at that, um, from coming from the diaspora, previous regular boys would have born in England, come and play for the team, we stop. If you hear him speak about the team, despite the issues that they have or they had during that time period, you can still see the level of proudness within them in representing the national color. And, and that's something that it, it, it makes me feel warm and nice inside. You know what? Despite all issues, these guys still want to come and play for us. And I feel good about that. I feel really, really good. But Demar Gray, get on it. Get scouting. Get on it. Dial up the number. Dial up the number. Dial up the number. Get Dwight McNeil number. Get to appearance. I say, hey, convince them. Convince even appearance. Them. Convince him parents. Convince him agent. Convince everyone around him. I do believe, though, um, Dwight McNeil at, at age 24... He still has a chance to, to play for the, the England the England team. We might think not, but I do believe he still has, has that potential. I think that me. So, for example, what if in two years' time he hits a high high peak? Um, that if, so if, if just say if Everton stay in the league and probably two years time or probably next year another big team see him, pick him up, and he just hits on different heights. You know, say a strong possibility England are gonna call him. But at this present moment, it's not really likely. No. So if you can get him now, if you can run him now, get him now, <laughs> and seal the deal. So you know, so if, if that happened in the next two years, um, we had we have one of the top, top Euro, um, English players in, in um, playing for Jamaica. That's playing in the EPL. So that's how it is. So the Margaret, get going. Get going. Big up on yourself, people. Tell us what you think about, think about this in the comment section. Massive, massive respect. Good evening, good afternoon, whichever times when you're watching this on. And I'll see you guys again. Until next time, MG Sports TV. We're out. Boom. God bless.